Chris here and welcome to my channel and welcome to this two-day reading vlog to wrap up May. So my main goals for this two days is to finish these two. Don't know how realistic that is. I have, I want to say a little over two hours left in the audiobook for this. Like at the speed I'm listening to it at. And then I want to say a little over four for this one. And this is the main goal. I need to finish this one to finish my TBR. So this one first, then this one. But that's my goal. I think I think it's doable. Not 100% positive, but I think I think it's possible if I focus. So we shall see. I've actually read a little bit of both of these already today. So we'll see how much more of them I can squeeze in tonight. And then maybe I'll check back in with you in the morning. I'm not sure though, because we're about to have a three-day heat wave. It's supposed to be like 86, 90, and then like 87. And I'm miserable at the thought because I'm not sure I can put an air conditioner in this year because it cannot go in my room because of the way the plugs in my room are configured. And my dad said something about he thinks when my mom unplugged the air conditioner last year to take it out of the window, he thought he saw the plug spark. And the only time I use that plug is for my air conditioner. So it hasn't been used since then. And that is the only plug in the spare room that the cord reaches. So if I can't use that outlet and I can't use the ones in my room, that means no air conditioning for me. So I'm not looking forward to the next three days because there's a very good chance I will be going without air conditioning this summer and I'm not happy about it. However, I have audiobooks for both of these, so I can lay in my bedroom in the dark with the fans on and just listen to audiobooks. I don't actually need to have the physical book in front of me. It's not my favorite way to consume media because I don't sit still very well. So if I'm just listening to an audiobook, the odds of me wanting to just lay in bed and listen are slim. But I can't really do anything with my hands if it's a bajillion degrees in my room because I'm not even sure my computer will stay on because my computer has a busted fan. So it overheats very, 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 very easily. Um, I'm not even sure I'm gonna even try turning it on until it's time for wrestling. So yeah, that is also going to be a bit of a hindrance is that I have wrestling tomorrow. So I have to try to squeeze all of this in around wrestling and whatever else I end up doing. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna do my best and I didn't pull the reward prompt for this, so I could always swap out a punishment if I absolutely had to at the beginning of July's TBR video, but I'd rather not do that. So we'll see how it goes. But the sooner I stop talking to you, the sooner I can read, and the sooner I read, the faster I'll be done with these books. So I'm going to do that, and I will check back in with you either tomorrow morning or sometime after midnight at the start of June to let you know how I did. June and that means it's time to wrap this vlog up. I did not get as much reading done as I had hoped but I did manage to get through Mad Ship which was the main main priority. This was the last book that was on my phase 10 TBR so I do not have to swap out my reward for a punishment and this is the second book in the live ship trader series and I'm giving this book four stars. There was a point in the middle where I think for me it got a little slow but it might also have been my headspace at the time because I wasn't in the mood to read this. I was building my TBR for
for June. I found that this happens towards the end of the month, especially if I'm taking part in readathons that I'm really excited about. I just want to dive into that new TBR. I either come across books I've never heard of before that I'm really excited to read, or I've added books to my TBR that I haven't gotten around to reading, but I was really excited to read. So I stopped focusing on my previous month's TBR and I stopped being excited for those books and start focusing on the next month's. This sometimes drags down my enjoyment of books at the end of the month. With all that being said, I did still really enjoy this book. I'm very intrigued to see where it goes next, but I have zero intention of reading that in June because my June TBR is just insanely full and there's no way I can squeeze the third book in this series on there in June. So we will see if I can get back to it in July. I did not get back to Heart of the Sun Warrior. I just didn't pick it up. It was not a focus for me. My focus was Mad Ship, and by the time I finished Mad Ship, there was no point in trying to pick this up. What I did do was pick up A Tempest at Sea. This is the most recent book in the Lady Sherlock series, and I'm only like 20 pages into it, so don't really have much thoughts on it yet, but it is due back to the library, so it has become a priority read for me. So that is it for my May reading. I think I did very very well. I believe I read like 42 books. So zero complaints from me on how much I managed to cram into one month. And I definitely think I found a way to break my slump. So very happy about that. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. All of my social media can be found in the description below. If you'd like to come chat with me, if you've made it this far in the video leave me penguin emojis like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you next time bye